This is the weekly briefing for Monday, October 30th. So our big takeaways for this week is we do have a early winter storm coming and uh, that's expected to come mid to late week. So we're going to see snow levels dropping with this. We're going to see some heavy mountain snow and we're going to be seeing some snow for the northern valleys as well. And then we're going to be getting cold for the weekend. So a lot to talk about today. Big picture, this is what we're looking at when we see our snow coming in later in the week. We have high pressure over the Gulf of Alaska and uh, a uh, polar low over Canada. This is going to be bringing in some cold air uh, into the northern portion of the United States. This uh, L here I have denoted is going to be the winter storm that's going to be giving us our precipitation for uh, mid to late week. And then the moisture coming in will be interacting with this cold air and we're going to be seeing some snow in the valleys with this. So the onset of, of the precipitation is going to be on Wednesday. And what I have here shaded is where we're seeing, where we're going to see our best chances for precipitation as it comes in. There should be enough uh, flow across the Cascades that a lot of the basin won't see a whole lot of precipitation, at least initially Wednesday into Wednesday night. Where we're going to really be seeing it is up along the Cascade Crest. We should see snow levels low enough that there will be some light snow there for Lake Stevens Pass and Washington Pass. Lookout Pass is expected to start out as snow as well. And then as that colder air starts to come in, we will, we will be seeing um, a lot of these valleys uh, starting out with rain, but we will be seeing them transitioning to snow uh, through the night on Wednesday. So places like Bonner's Ferry might start out with the rain or at least a, a rain-snow mix and then transitioning over to snow by uh, Thursday morning. And Sandpoint, the same kind of story, Medellin Falls and Northport, a lot of these uh, communities up here near the Canadian border, that's what we're going to be looking at for Wednesday and the Wednesday night. <clears throat> so, um, talk about the timing of the onset of precipitation. The impacts is going to mostly be mountain snow initially, okay, as the precipitation gets going. And we're going to see mostly valley rain. Then we're going to see it transitioning over to snow for that northeast mountains and the northern panhandle. And at least through Wednesday night, we should be seeing. Uh, only some light to moderate snow intensity. The more moderate snow intensity uh, looks to be over the central Panhandle Mountains for like Lookout Pass. So if you have your travel plans from Wednesday and Wednesday night uh, to Thursday morning, Lookout Pass will be seeing some um, some uh, moderate or potentially some moderate snow accumulations during that period. Okay, so let's talk about the snow levels. So on Thursday. We're going to be snow levels coming down into the valleys for the northern panhandle and to the northeast portion of uh, extreme northeast Washington. This uh, pink dot or dashed line denotes essentially the uh, snow line for the valleys. So everything to the north here is where, what we're kind of expecting for snow to be accumulating uh, at this time, so through Thursday. Then as we go into Friday, that uh, colder air is continuing to come into the to the region, and snow levels will be falling still. So by this point, as we go into Thursday night, Friday, that period there, we'll start to see a lot of these valleys up here, and this is where we're going to start to be seeing our heaviest precipitation too. A lot of these valleys up here are going to be um, turning over snow by this point. This uh, very northern portion of the Columbia Basin to uh, let's say uh, the Spokane area, at least the northern portion into the Coeur d'Alene area, they're going to be kind of flirting there with the potential for some rain and snow and mix uh, for Friday. As we go into Saturday, colder air continues to come in. That uh, um, transition between valley rain and snow continues further south. So the uh, northern basin, uh, Spokane Coeur d'Alene area, and a lot of these valleys in the central panhandle as well are going to start to be seeing some snow. The good news with this is that this is going to be the period this Friday night into Saturday where the precipitation is going to be winding down and we're going to be going kind of transitioning more into showers or at least the bulk of the precipitation is going to be sh shifting more to the east. So uh, a lot of these areas in the northern um, basin uh, 
will actually be kind of winding down, the precipitation will be winding down as we're starting to get some snow mixed in there. So this is what we're expecting for our most likely um, snow amounts with this storm system coming in. So the uh, moderate to heavy snow amounts or will be across the uh, northeast uh, valleys of Washington and um, some heavier amounts, uh, snow amounts. So we got 8 to 12 inches for Sand Point Blonders Ferry where the snow levels will be coming down uh, earlier there. That's where we're expecting to have our heaviest uh, valley snow accumulations. And then the mountains we're looking at, you know, a potential of the 8 to 12 feet or 12 feet, 8 to 12 inches, so up to near a foot for these mountains. Okay, including Lookout Pass as well and up in the uh, Cascade uh, Crest. This next one here that I'm showing, this is more of a high-end potential for snow accumulation. So even though these valley, values up here in the northern uh, mountain valleys did change a bit, went up a little bit, um, uh, generally the story uh, is pretty much the same for our high end. So our most likely high end, again, hasn't changed too much. Where well, we do see more of our changes here, or at least where we could see potential for some more snow, depending on how quickly that colder air comes in, is going to be in this kind of transition zone that I've outlined in this dashed pink line, where um, our higher end snow potential, more like one to two inches potentially, for the uh, Okanagan Valley, Waterville Plateau, this northern portion of Upper Columbia Basin, Spokane area, Coeur d'Alene area, St. Mary. So these places here were uh, one to three inches, kind of the high end range, but it's also our greatest area of uncertainty, and it's really going to be, be dependent on how quickly that colder air comes in before the uh, precipitation shuts off. So in summary for this storm, and it's going to be a high impact event, at least for the northern panhandle and a lot of those northern uh, mountain valleys, we're going to see a snow beginning in the mountain, or snow beginning Wednesday for the mountains, and then uh, mostly snow, or at least transitioning to snow for the northern mountain valleys Thursday into Friday, and that's where we should see our heaviest precipitation during that period, and then transitioning to snow possibly for the Spokane Coeur d'Alene Corridor that uh, kind of I-90 corridor um, sort of north of the uh, Sprague area into Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, um, and that Highway 2 corridor as well, uh, west of Spokane through Wilbur and up into the plateau. Um, those areas could see some snow too, um, really as we're looking into Thursday night, Friday, and then kind of showers potentially continuing Friday night as well. Um, some light, very wet, slushy snow could be possible. So expect rapid deteriorating conditions for the mountains and the northern valleys. So I want to make sure everybody um, realize that this is going to be a, a high impact event for these areas, and have emergency kit, re you know, emergency kits ready or at least on hand, so that impacts heavy mountain snow, heavy snow for the northern Panhandle moderate to heavy snow for the Okanagan Highlands to Northeast Mountains in those areas, for those areas. Okay, <clears throat> for temperatures, we're going to be seeing a downward trend. I just have Spokane here, Spokane here, but the trend can be applied all over the region where we're going to be kind of right around average for temperatures through Wednesday. And then as that uh, colder air comes in, we're going to see those temperatures plummeting as we go into the weekend. This is what we're expecting for low temperature Sunday night. So widespread hard freezes um, expected. We're going to see seeing lows in the teens to uh, lower 20s for a lot of areas. Our latest 8 to 14 day outlook, looking at November 6th to the 12th. Um, really, we're going to be seeing this shift in the pattern. It's going to continue to next week. We're going to have a better chance for colder temperatures and wetter conditions. So in summary, Really benign weather through Tuesday, not a whole lot to talk about there. Then Wednesday through Wednesday night, we're going to be seeing some mountain snow, rain snow mix, northeast mountains, northern panhandle. Thursday into the weekend, snow levels are going to be dropping, especially as we go Thursday into Thursday night. We're going to see most of our precipitation in that period, and that's where we're going to be seeing a lot of our snow, uh, potentially for the valleys across the northern mountains.
and then in the weekend into next week we're going to be seeing the uh, precipitation moving out of the area but that's going to be replaced by um, much colder temperatures Okay, thank you very much. That concludes the briefing for this week.